Hello YouTube, Fuzzfinger here, and first of all apologies that my voice still isn't completely back to normal. I have taken a day off and recording, but I do want to get back to it because we've still got so much to cover in the Zodiac Age. I thought today we'd take things a little bit away from the story itself, and from the optional content in the game, and have a go at the next 10 stages of trial mode. So this will be stages 71 through to 80. I'll explain the loot you can get in each stage that's of significance, and any tactics that might bear you out throughout the encounters ahead. So a lot of the battles in this uh, set of stages are going to be against elementals and some strong elementals as well. So I highly recommend that you try and get as much elemental resistant gear as possible. The uh, shield, the Gendarm shield is absolutely fantastic actually, so that's what I'm going to be using. And also ribbon is useful because you do get some status ailments, as you'd expect at this particular stage as well. So I'm using ribbon on all three of my characters. Make sure you check out my guide to collecting as many ribbons as you want to get really, which you'll find in the playlist for this series. And I've given Ash the Gendarm as well. Uh, as a matter of fact, I'm going to take the Great Trango off her because I don't want her cheesing these encounters. Although even at this stage, the Great Trango doesn't really do that, in my opinion. Uh, so we'll just give her... Uh, one of these, I guess the cross scale will do fine, unless there's anything better here. Uh, okay, the Euclid's Sextant. She's not going to really be attacking anyway. And then I brought Pinello in just to obviously cast the, uh, well she's going to be the magic caster. So I've put this uh, Gambit in here for Pinello. Because she's going to be casting Scathe a lot, I don't want her to absolutely obliterate the party before Ash has a chance to remove and dispel the reflect state of any enemies. So this will hopefully just weaken the enemies for Varn while Ash does the dispelling. Now that's pretty much it really. So as always, if you want to steal things from the chests in the area, you're going to need a diamond armlet equipped on the party leader. And for this first stage here, against these guys, you can steal some Artemis arrows, a Sagittarius or a Danusha from Crigian who's the boss of this uh, set of foes. And with the diamond armor equipped, you could steal Curagar or a headband from the chest. So nothing exciting, in all honesty. Most of that stuff you are going to have already. So I do recommend that your attack gambits be set to the lowest foe, uh, the lowest foe's health. That way you can pick the adds off before focusing on the boss. And as always, you might want to equip, equip the cat ear accessory on your reserve party members at least to try and get some gill while you're going through these encounters as you can see which is what I'm doing and now we have an encounter against Diablos an Avenger and an Overlord so some tough enemies from the main game all at once here but as you can see Varn does a lot of damage with his Kumbar weapon and that's not a cheese weapon such as the Great Trango of the Sighton Rat. This is a proper weapon that uh, was present in the uh, main game. Actually, I don't know if it was in the original Final Fantasy XII. I can't remember the top of my head. But it's not like one of the invisible weapons anyway. So, you can justify its use. And I've also done a video on how to collect a Kumbar as well. So do check that out if you want to purchase it. And a lot of these enemies tend to go immune to physical damage or magic damage, which is why I do recommend doing what I'm doing here in terms of having a magic caster and a physical caster. And having lure on a tank is obviously useful as well. So if you struggle with any of these elementals, you can actually summon your uh, espers in you know, the correct esper that's going to absorb the damage or most of the damage from each of these elementals here. Just be careful because some of these elementals will drain the MP from your healer. So you might have to re uh, go back to potions if need be. Anyway, from this one, you can loot the uh, Lamia's Tiara and a Bio magic, which you'll already have, no doubt, from the chests. And all you can really steal from these guys is elixirs. So from this round, you can steal an Enchanter's Habit and an Aldebaran from the chests on the outside of the room here. 
Obviously, killing the ads is the priority, just to avoid taking the massive amounts of damage that's going to be coming your way if you don't. I forgot to mention on the second encounter against the Ablos Avenger and Overlord, uh, you can actually steal quite a bit of stuff from that, including a Power Armlet Dragon Whisper from Diablos, uh, a Masamoon or Muramasa from Avenger, and Swill Crossblade and Blazer Gloves uh, from Overlord. You can also get the Jujitsu G and the Francisca from the chests around there. So we'll get up a nice chain as well around these elementals. Okay, so from this particular encounter with the ice elementals, you can get a close helm or berserker braces from the chests. And as I said, you could steal an elixir if you want to from the main elemental here. Next up we have the earth elementals. And summon, summoning the Esper Hashmel, I keep forgetting his name that one, uh, would actually be a good tactic here if you're struggling because he'll absorb the vast majority of the damage that's put out. But try and use a caster or equip your caster with earth elemental damage, uh, resistance as well though if you do that. In terms of loot, Demon Mail and Vanish Gar, if you need either of those, can be found in the chests. Next up we have the Water Elementals. And a Golden Amulet and a Diamond Shield are the loots of choice in this particular zone. So, as you can see, you do get a lot of damage to begin with. You might want to cast Bubble on your tank if you are dropping down a little bit too quickly. If you don't have the Gendarm Shields, and you should really have those by this point. Um, again, I've done a video if you want to check out how to get the Gendarm Shield. Um, if you don't have a Gendarm Shield, at least on your tank, then just make sure you swap the equipment round on each encounter to absorb whatever element is being dished out. So this is the Air Elementals. And for this, you can get the Pheasant Netsuk and the Ruby Wings. Let's take care of this. We've got two more then. Two more encounters, I mean. Right, on this next one, we can actually steal a Dark Matter. So I might try and do so. Won't hurt to try, at least. We'll say goodbye to Ribbon for a temporary amount of time here on Varn as we throw on the Thief's Cuffs. So, as you can see, the Dark Matter is obviously a rare drop, but it doesn't hurt to try and get it. If you want to farm for it, then you'll want to set your Steel Gambit up before you enter the stage 79, so at the end of stage 78. And it's on Luxalid that you can actually get that Steel. So since now we've stolen, I'm going to go ahead and disable that Gambit and we'll put it on for the next battle where you can also have a chance at stealing Dark Matter. So as usual, we'll be taking care of the ads and then the boss himself. Or the named enemy, I should say. It's not really a boss, is it? So a lot of these fights in this particular set of stages is really about mitigating damage. There's a ton of damage that's going to be coming your way. And if you're struggling uh, with these fights, then it's probably because you're not absorbing enough damage. So just check your equipment that you are actually able to absorb the elements that are coming at you. So we'll see if we can get that Dark Matter here. So this is the final stage. You can also get a Sage's Ring and an Aragar Magic from the chest on the outside. I didn't actually see what we looted then, I wasn't paying attention. Uh, but either way, we'll turn the steel off now. And you can um, get a battle harness or an opal ring by stealing so from the chests on the previous stage. I think I did forget to mention that. So 
So these guys obviously have a fair amount of health now. <coughs> you do need a good amount of damage to get through these battles. But these stages are really a test of what's to come. Because the next set of stages are much harder in my opinion. So if you're struggling here then you do need to sort your party out with your equipment and whatnot before thinking of moving on. And there we have it. Stages 71 through 80 complete. I hope uh, some of these tactics and bits of information have helped you. We get the good stuff. And we can bring that, of course, back into our main game. But that's going to be it for me for today, folks. So thanks for stopping by and joining me. And I hope you'll come back soon for more Final Fantasy XII. Cheers all. Take care.